weaponry. It's not just, it's not, we're not, so you, 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 you are sadly mistaken if you think that the only thing you gotta fear is a, is a, is a man with a, with a knife fit on and, 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 and a, uh, and a sword, man. Okay, now, now the night gear has, has turned into military gear. Okay, that sword has turned into an AK-47. And they gonna use it. It says, for there shall be sedition among men in invading one another. Yep. They shall not regard their kings yep. nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. That's right. Man. Now, during the course of martial law, man, you're going to hear you're gonna hear the loud speaker. Everybody get indoors. Okay? Curfew time. They're going to regard, they're going to disregard the, the, the princes and the kings. The princes and the kings of this world is the government. Mayor, the governor, the the, the, the senate, the, the the government itself, man, and these are the people that are going to try to bring down the, the, the judgment to keep the peace, or act like they're keeping the peace anyway. Fight the national guard. Yeah, the people going to be out here going yeah. going go, go, go to war, like your brother just said, man. Use that same example earlier with the Clyde Bundy family in Oregon. Sure, That's sure. a great example of sedition amongst men mm -hmm. because sure. they're not regarding the. U.S. government. Uh, that's right. They have no intentions on, on making it easy on the government. Mm -hmm. Now, from the government's point of view, you assume with things that happen like what happened with uh, the Kore David Koresh in Waco, <clears throat> people are thinking that the government is looking at it as, well, we just don't want to make a mistake. But I, I believe it's just more a, a fact of why bother with those 15 people anyway? And we're about to take this whole country back. Because sure, sure. people think this, this government and this land belongs to them. That's right. it, it does not. That's right. It belongs to, like they say, the U.S. government, which in turn, it, it belongs to the elites. Sure. Sure. Yeah. And, and, and another instance, I just wanted to piggyback on what Zakari was saying, another instance is out there. See, they, they, they don't even televise St. Louis no more. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what's going on in, in St. Louis is you got uh, those Oath Keepers. Okay, they're going into they're going into St. Louis. At first, they was going in there for to to, to, to so-called protect the, the, yeah, the community. The yeah. Now they're going back in there to teach the community how to get their own weapon That's right. and teaching them how to use that weapon. Yeah. Okay, so so St. Louis is getting ready right now. St. Louis has already been in martial in the martial law state That's for the past two years, man. Siri jumping off just that whole state right mm -hmm. now because you had that situation with those floods from that tornado. Mm -hmm. uh, they declared a state of emergency. I forgot that town uh, in Missouri, but Missouri is it's, it's going in right now, man. That's right. That's right. And that kind of what the brother just said kind of explains to you why they weren't arresting those people for, for breaking in the CBS, mm -hmm. for tearing down, I believe it was an auto car store, when the cops were right there. Sure. Now they have justification to teach people to fight back, to give them guns, put the guns on the street. They have justification now. Sure. So it all plays into the into the hands of, of those who run the country. Sure. 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 Cause the next step is to take away take away the take away the guns. Sure. You supply the people with the guns, and then you tell them, and then you turn around and tell them to take it away. It's just like that Segway, man. The Segway, where they where they, they distributed all these Segways, and now in California, and it's going to be spread across uh, the rest of the states. A, a law against the Segways. Okay, basically, you can't go, you can't go here, you can't go there, you can't, you can't be under the influence, you can't go over a certain speed limit. Huh. The same same principles as the Segway is going is going to be implemented with with uh, with with the the, the, the artillery, man. Think of, uh, All right, you can, but but it's already being implemented because certain people can't have uh, 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 weapons. But now it's going to be at a hot, more heightened state. Bro, all these new cars got GPS. That shut your shit off. Yeah, that North Star? Yeah, yeah, that North shut North. your shit yeah, off. Shut shit off. Right yeah, you ain't going nowhere. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you're out of there. And yeah, they making it easy for you to get a new car. Yeah. Yep. All you gotta do is show up with an with old car and turn that whole wheel. Like, oh, damn, one thing I got, 2016. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, huh? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah.
A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Yep. A man shall desire to go in the city but shall not be able. Okay. This is this is talking about those barricades. Checkpoints. Okay. The, the, come on, the checkpoints. Well, when when the cities are shut down, you ain't gonna be able to go in or out of that city, man. Okay, because you're gonna have military bases set up all around the the, the, the exit points, the main exit, uh, the, the main artery, so to speak, when it comes to uh, transport, man. So the only way you're gonna be able to get out of the city is sneaking on foot, off the grid, going off the grid. Because basically, that interstate uh, highway system was created for the military, man. Mm -hmm. It wasn't created for these niggas in these cars to be taking road trips mm -hmm. to Austin or wherever you want to go. That's right. You know, it was, it was it was created for the military. That's right. And, and, and the, the way that it's set up, it's easy to shut it down and just set up checkpoints to where people can't get in, they can monitor basically what comes in and what goes out. Yep. So if you're trying to get out of a certain city or town, you're going to have to go in the wilderness. You're going to have yep. to go off the grid. Yep. You know? And it ain't too many people that are that are keen, that are keen on uh, 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 having the sense of uh, knowing where you at at all times. Yep. Okay? The average person, the average person couldn't tell you uh, uh, directions outside of outside of their community or outside of the, their city. Man. Most people, like women, for example, they so stupid they don't actually know direction. Like a bitch right. try to tell you landmarks. Like right, yeah, you gonna turn right next to that McDonald's right there at the stop sign. Right. Like okay, do I need to go north on this street mm -hmm. or what direction do I need to go? That right. shows the mindset of these people, man. That's right. That's so right. if you're in a situation, you out in the wilderness, you have to use a compass. And you having to, uh, you know, you ain't gonna be able to make it. Yeah. You ain't gonna be able to navigate, man. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. You pick up a compass, uh, uh, a compass, and you don't know what you're doing. You, you fuck up going in circle, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't know what you're doing. That's right. That's right. Oh, man. Go ahead. Uh, it says, uh, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, right. and men shall be afraid. That's right, because of their pride. Because they don't believe that martial law is coming. Because they don't believe that, that, that the Lord is setting all this stuff up. That's why you got people instead of, you got the majority of people aren't gearing up. They're not getting ready for, they're not getting ready for this, this battle, man. Okay, they still going, they still going to the local bar, they still going to club sin. Club plush, they still going to, to 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 eat to go out and eat, okay, without a care in the world. They're not considering that the most high is gonna bring this place down. That's right, brother. So they're so they're 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 prideful, they're, they're they're puffed up, man. Even when you tell them, even when you tell them that this place is going down, you still you, you they, they still can't help themselves to but to indulge, man. Okay? So that's why that's why it's, it's gonna it's gonna come when it comes they're gonna be fearful, man. Cause they not they not ready. What, what Kevin Hart say? I'm not. Yeah. He wasn't ready. Yeah. He wasn't ready. <laughs> so you so he, so if you not if you're not prepared for an ass whooping, guess what? You won't get your ass whooping. It's like that chick almost got a hit across the damn street. Mm -hmm. Not really. She, she wasn't, wasn't ready. ready. She, she wasn't, she wasn't prepared. She was on her phone. On the phone. Kill <laughs> the average person's attention span is so low because of all these uh, 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 electronic devices, man. Mm -hmm. right? A lot of yep. people can't pay attention, man. Right. You can have right. a conversation with somebody, they'd be like, huh? Mm -hmm. Try to run you off the road, <laughs> man. Yeah. Uh -huh. or, try to, or try to hurry up and get you to stop talking <laughs> so they can keep, get back to what they were doing. Yep. That's one more verse in this. Uh, verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, mm -hmm. but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. <laughs> That's right. John, John, you knew, John, John, you knew down the street? Or John that know you from down the street? Y'all go y'all go and, 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 and have cookouts together? Y'all y'all go and, and chill out and hang out? His son play with your son? Your daughter play with his daughter? All right. When that day comes, it ain't gonna be no friendship no more. It's gonna be about is my family gonna survive or is your family gonna survive? That friendship is gonna go out the window, man. If you ain't a spiritual man, you ain't gonna have everybody. Everybody's gonna be suspect to, to punishment. Okay.
world they're in. That's right. For the sword in their destruction draw nigh. What does that woe mean? That woe means destruction. Now, we don't even have to tell you about the things that are coming to the earth because the things that are coming to the earth are manifesting themselves in such a manner that the world can see it. The world can see an end of America. That's why people are scammering and trying to get their affairs in order. They're not scammering and trying to build it back up. They're just trying to get themselves tight. When you're dealing with the elites and the semi-elites, they understand the stock markets and all those things. They're just trying to get themselves tight so they can make it in the end time. Get shorter and shorter it's but the destruction is coming. The yeah, end is man. coming. Man. People are not tripping on the American dollar no more because that, the end of the American dollar already came. Yeah. That already came. That already came back years ago. Even when you had John F. Kennedy trying to go away from the standard of, of the dollar that we have now. That, the American dollar, the American dream is gone. The, the streets that are paid for gold, all that's gone. These other countries like Iran and all that, they used to come over here and they used to be able to cash in, build up a store on Main Street and cash in and live good. And they go buy a house out in, uh, what's the rich neighborhood out here? Island Park. Frisco. Island they go Park. buy a house in Frisco. But they sitting out in that house in Frisco, they getting called a sand nigga and all that kind of shit. There's kids are going to school and getting treated all kind of ways. So everybody's starting to understand that, hey man, this place is through. So we, now you got people taking their money and running. It's exactly, so the opposite now is you got people coming to get stores, but they're not building a, a life for themselves here. They're living in shambles here for a couple years. I believe somebody else, you might have said something about this earlier. Living in shambles here for a few years, but sending all their wealth back home. And living high off the hog at home. That's why you go to Dubai and you see them people living crazy rich. Where are they making all this money? Oil and also off of these other countries. So America's end is here. That's right. And I don't give a damn about two thirds. I could care less if you get it or not. We're speaking to the elect. That's right. So if you understand that what we're saying is, hey, they right. This shit is, is, is played out. And you need to find yourself out here on these highways and byways and preaching. That's right. Because we're not preaching this message so that you can start to understand how America works and go get yourselves some, some investing stocks. We're telling you that this shit is over. It's done deal. There's no coming back. That's right. The end is here. That's right. That's right. That's right. The missiles are on their way. It's That's nothing right. that nobody up here can do about it. Right, so if you understand that, then it's time to get yourself in order. That's what right. order do you need to get yourself into? The order of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh That's right. And once again, if, if you're not of the elect, pay no attention to what I'm saying. Right. It, it looks like there's a good basketball game on over there. Focus in on that. We're seeking out people that want the end. Go ahead. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. And you and see that, all, that and not only do you see it, but you see the elites creating the situation. Right. Because right. a nigga is so docile, right. the so-called white man was like, man, we gotta just kill these niggas. Cause they ain't, these yeah, we gotta just kill these niggas in the street. Cause they ain't, they not doing nothing. Yeah. They creating new dances in the middle of an economic collapse. <laughs> These niggas done created the name of Like, man, that, that's, there's no other people on the earth like them. So what do we got? We got to kill these niggas in the street. And then they still not even tripping off. They still not even mad. They still not upset. It's still more vines coming out. BET still on the air. MTV still going. It's still mu music videos being made. Oh, yeah. And swords in their hands, for there should be sedition among men. Like I was talking about with the, with the Bundys out there, that's sedition amongst men. And that's beautiful. As soon as I saw it, I said, damn, that's beautiful, because that coincides exactly with what the Lord said was going to happen. Everybody's coming up against everybody. It's not, it's not just whites against blacks, blacks against nobody. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's people, even the crackers are on there making videos saying, what the fuck is wrong with you other crackers? Why are you, why aren't you mad? You see what they're doing to us? It's sedition going on. The crackers looking at the next cracker like, if you ain't, if you ain't down, we coming for you. We coming for your goods. Go ahead. And, and, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. 
for there should be sedition among men and invading one another. And invading one another. And if you don't know about the invasion of, of one country into another that's been going on, once again, just go in and watch that basketball game. Turn, turn the computer off and go and watch the basketball game. Because that's all you hear about on CNN, uh, MSNBC, Fox, all of them. It's invasions and wars and rumors of wars. And when you see those things, when we see them, we, we're happy. Because we know that the end is near. I don't know if I'm of the elect. I don't know if I'm going to die. I don't know what's going to happen. But I do know that I'm tired of the system that I'm living in. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of being a black man. I'm tired of being a Negro, African American. I'm tired of my name, using my government name. I want to use my Hebrew name full time. I want to wear my garments full time. I don't want to have to seek, sneak, and, and observe the Sabbath. I want to be able to live my life complete the way that the scriptures uh, say that we should live in health and in happiness. I want to be able to go in a garden and pick my own tomato, pick my own cucumber, and go in the house and, and you know, I got a chicken coop or whatever, and go in the house and, and make my own food. That's not something. I ain't say nothing about a bit, right? right? I just want to live in happiness and peace and harmony. I, I don't want to be at the bottom of the ocean with a grenade trying to figure out where the next oil well is. That's right. not, I, I want the earth to be happy. Right. I don't, if, if you take away cars, you don't have to worry about oil. You don't have to worry about natural gas and all that. See, that's the kingdom. It's no longer carnal, everything is spiritual. You don't need a cell phone up to your head that's giving you brain damage to connect to your to your brother, to let him know, you know, I'm just over here thinking about you. We can do that through the elements in a spiritual manner. In that time of the kingdom, I believe that's one of the things we'll be able to do, connect to each other without these carnal a piece of plastic up to your ear. That's, that's really killing you. They should not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. That's right. And once again, that example of the Bundys out there in Oregon. That's, that's beautiful because that coincides right with this chapter. Right with those words. They're, they don't give a damn about the sheriff. The sheriff came on TV and, and pretty much said, Hey, will y'all please just chill out? Just please, you know, let's just all, you know, chill out. Uh, you Out there in Oregon, you had... Uh, you remember the thing with the Bundy, Clive Bundy, the Bundy Ranch? Yeah, it happened like two years ago. Yeah, yeah. it resurfaced itself and it manifests itself to now that, like the brother said, I believe there was two people that was about to get arrested. Yeah, they got arrested. What for? We don't have to go into all the details. They, they got arrested? Yeah, they got arrested because yeah. they had set, they, they, they had set fire. fire. Okay, I thought they fire. didn't, sure. and I thought they were holding them people on that no, ranch. They, they did it. Okay, they, they, they so those fire. people on that ranch, are really they're saying to the government that we don't like this the policy. We don't like the fact that y'all aren't going to the Constitution. We don't like that. So you know what? We're going to take matters into our own hand. We'll read that. Hey. One more time, and that's exactly what the scriptures talk right. about. For there shall be sedition among men and in invading one another. Uh -huh. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Stand in their power. They have the guns. They have the rocket launcher. They have the, the trucks and, and, and all the gear. They can do it themselves. That's what they're saying. And they're also saying, forget Obama. Forget Obama, leave that. Let's take care of this thing ourselves. They're not regarding the kings and the princes. And like I said, you have the sheriff of the town come on TV and he pretty much was saying, please, everybody just chill out. Because they know that those people out there are serious. It's not just funny games no more. People want to see war. People want to see the change. The white, the so-called white man wants to be in power again. He would love nothing more than to be able to hang us from these uh, light posts. That's what he wants to go back to. Complete and total control. There was a time here, especially out in these western states, where a so-called white man, he could, he could kill his family. And it would be okay because that was his family. That's his possession. They want to go back to that mind frame. Where you where you could where the sheriff show up and the man's wife is dead and and the man tells him hey man she was over here not doing what I told her to do and the sheriff say well let's, let's dig a hole let's dig a hole 
right? They want to go back to that. But those days are gone. Now is our time to shine. Now it's time for righteousness right. to thrive. A man should desire to go into a city and should not be able. For because of their pride, these cities shall be troubled. He now, has one of those cities that's troubled is this. What's the, do you know the name of the city? I forgot. It's in, Oregon. it's in Oregon. You can look it up. Clearly, it's, it's one of the big things that's going on right now. You can't just go into that city right now. That city is cut off. They're looking, they're maybe not the whole city, but a portion of that city is cut off. If I can they're say, looking, go ahead. It's 186,000 acres mm -hmm. that they, that they're actually, you know, occupying right, right now. This is a lot, that's a that's, big, that's, that's a big, big ass area right there. That is. <laughs> huge area. Yeah. And then, so a lot of it is flat land. Yeah. So with that said, you can't just walk up and hide behind a tree and sneak behind <laughs> something. It's flat land. Right. And, I, and, you, and they have guard posts. Yeah. Tall guard posts to look out. They fucking around the city of seeking services out there to get too hectic. Mm hmm Because they got, you know, they might have guarded the nuts where everybody can't get in. The sheriff department can't get in. That's right. So who are they going to, they going to send in an order? That's right. That's too loud. They, 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 they must want to send in seeking services. That's right. Navy SEALs and all that, but in, in, some, in, in some cases and things like this, the CIA is already in them. They're the ones that's creating the whole situation. Yeah. And, and it kind of seems like that because it's like they just letting it go on. Mm -hmm. Just trying to see where it goes type yeah, of thing. Yeah, like you, 